In this video, we're going to look at two-way tables. A two-way table is a convenient way of representing two categories of data in one table. An example might be age group and leisure activities. In the video, we're going to simply look at completing a two-way table and answering some basic questions from it. So let's start off. The following two-way table shows some of the information about people's favourite flavour of ice cream from free choices on offer at a local restaurant. OK, so we've got this table right here. So let's look at the two categories of data. We've got the flavour of the ice cream and then we've got now the age range. We've got the adults and we've got the children. We're asked in the first part to complete now the two-way table. So let's consider the information that we've got. We know that there are a total of 100 people. We're told that down the bottom. 32 of these people are adults. 100 minus 32 gives me 68. That tells me the total number of children now is 68. From this, I can go ahead and answer this box or I can answer this one. So it's my choice from this and we could have started with those as well. So if I consider now 26 people like banana, 15 were children, 26 minus 15 is 11. From here, I can either answer this one or I can answer this one. If I consider chocolate now, the adults who chose chocolate, 11 plus 9 is 20, 20 from 32 gives me 12. So there were 12 adults who chose chocolate. Total number who chose chocolate of 37, 12 were adults, that means 37 minus 12 is 25. We had 25 children choosing chocolate. At this point, I can just go ahead and fill out the children or I can fill out the totals down the bottom. 15 and 25 is 40. 40 from 68 is going to give me now a total of 28. That tells me 28 children chose strawberry. 9 and 28 is 37. 37, 37 and 26 is 100. Do check all of these columns add up. 12 and 25 is 37. 9 and 28 is 37. 11 and 15 is 26. 32 and 68 is 100. 37 and 37 is going to give me now 74, plus 26 is 100. 25, 28 and 15 is 68. 12, 9 and 11 is 32. So we've completed the two-way table. In the second part, we're asked to state how many children were surveyed. We can see the total number of children was 68. So we can simply write down 68. Find the probability that someone chosen at random said strawberry was their favourite ice cream. If we consider 37 people in total said strawberry and there were 100 people surveyed. So we can say that's 37 of 100 or we could say now 0.37. So 100 people surveyed, 37 said strawberry, 37 of 100 or 0.37. What percentage of people didn't pick strawberry? We can see 37 of 100 did. 37 of 100 is 37%. Therefore, if we take 37 from 100, that will give me 63 of 100, or 63%. We could have found that out by adding the chocolate and banana together. 37 and 26 is 63. 63 of 100 is 63%. In the fifth question, we're asked what fraction of the adults surveyed said banana. So there were 32 adults surveyed and 11 said banana. So it's 11 of 32. We can't simplify that any further, so we'll leave it where it is. One killer mistake made in this type of question now is people choosing 11 chose banana of now 100. It's saying what fraction of the adults. There are 32 adults, 11 of 32 said banana. So if there's a basic two-way table, we've completed it and answered some questions from the information. Let's look at another. There are 200 people in a company. Information is collected about the people and some of the data is shown below. So we've got the gender, male or female, and whether they're right-handed or left-handed. So there's our two different categories now in our two-way table. Their gender and whether they're left-handed or right-handed. We're asked to complete the table. Now, often people seem to, to miss something right here, but what we're told is there are 200 people in the company. So straight away, I can now fill out this box is going to be 200. I've got a couple of choices of where I could go. I've got three choices. I could go here, I could go here, or I could go here. 
200 minus 79, that's 121. So the total number of females is 121. If I consider now 143 from 200, that's going to give me 57. That tells me 57 people are left-handed. So we've got 37 left-handed males, therefore 37 from 57 gives me 20. I can fill out either of these from here. 121 minus the 20 is going to give me 101. That tells me there were 101 right-handed females. Here, all I'm going to be left with is 143 minus 101, which will give me 42. Let's now check all of these rows up. 42 and 37 is 79. 101 and 20 is 121. 143 and 57 is 200. 42 and 101 is 143. 37 and 20 is 57. 79 and 121 is 200. So we've done that part. Using the table, find the probability of the following events. A man being chosen. So we're looking at the male column. There's 79 males of 200, so we can write 79 of 200. A left-handed woman being chosen. Left-handed women are just here. There are 20, so it's going to be 20 of 200, which we can simplify to 1 over 10. A dog being chosen. We don't have that option, so it's going to be 0. A left-handed person being chosen. We can see there are 57 left-handed people out of 200, so that's 57 of 200. So that now is the probability. Okay, two people taken and then both being left-handed. This now moves on to conditional probability, as I'll assume that they are not given back. They're not being replaced. So if you need a bit of work on conditional probability, check out my site here as there's plenty of tutorials. So two people taken and then both being left-handed. So the probability of the first one being taken being left-handed is 57 over 200. We want the next one, and this is going to be a case of and. When it's and, we multiply. Now consider that there's one less person. If we've taken these away, there's 56 left-handed out of 199. So let's now put that through a calculator and find that value. Let's grab it up. There we go. So in the numerator, I'm going to put 57 times by 56, and that's going to be over 200 times by now 199. So this is a typical question that might come up on a GCSE high paper. It wouldn't be included on a foundation paper as it's conditional probability. 399 over 4975. So 399 over 4975. So if you want a decimal answer for that one, 0 0.080. So if we wanted this now to two significant figures, 0 0.080. I'm going to leave it as a fraction. Okay, picking three men and not letting them return. So again, this is conditional probability. Each subsequent event is dependent on the one before. So let's pick a man the first time. Male, 79 of 200. So we're going to have 79 of 200. And the next one, so we want and another male, which is 78 left of 199. And another male, 77 left of 198. So for a calculator, we'll just work out that. So let's do that, and that's going to be um, pretty low. Let's go and do that. So 79 times by 78 times by 77 over now 200 times by 199 times by 198. So what's that give us? That gives us 0 0.060 and so on and so forth. 0 0.0602 dot dot dot. And we would just round that to the level of accuracy given. So these two last ones are examples of conditional probability. If this was replacement, this one right here, and the person was put back as it were, this would be now simply over 200. So it'd be 57 over 200 times by 57 over 200. I've assumed that they're being taken away and not returned. So there we go. Working with two-way tables, all we're doing is getting the information, filling it out and answering some questions based on that information.